Well, greetings once again. This is Dr. Bill Bailey, and this is the Handheld Hack. The Handheld Hack is the netcast where we talk about handheld devices like my ViewSonic G tablet that I have here right in front of me, and I use it to keep myself straight, which is it's a challenge, <laughs> I must say. Anyway, let's look at the Handheld Hack um, website, which I'll put right here on the screen handheldhack.com. By the way, the Handheld Hack is a proud member of the Tech Podcast Network, techpodcast.com. If it's tech, it's right here on the Handheld Hack and all the other tech podcast, podcasts and netcasts and whatever you want to call them, video things. Well, anyway, we have the first item here is three Kindles are still less than one iPad. Now, we just had an announcement about the brand new iPad. And this commercial is even more <laughs> appropriate. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start it here. It's on YouTube. Can you hear the the sound there? That's the new Kindle, isn't it? Seventy nine dollars. Best way to read, even in sunlight. Yeah, but I mean, if you want to watch movies or surf the web, I've got a Kindle Fire for that. I got a Kindle Fire for that. Okay, so the point of this commercial, of course, is that the uh, three Kindle Fires, three Kindle Fires, cost less than one iPad. <laughs> it's kind of a good commercial when you think about it. I mean, come on, you know. I tell you what, I love my Kindle Fire. I mean, I use my G tablet here because it's got a nice big screen for when I'm reading articles off of the website, but it's, and for other things too, I use it differently than I use the Kindle. But I mean, this and the Kindle both would still be less than one iPad. That says something. You know what I'm saying? And this has all kinds of features that the new iPad doesn't have. I mean, I pointed this out on my Dr. Bill show as well. You've got an SD card slot. You've got stereo speakers. You've got uh, a docking station place here. You've got, uh, you know, an external USB jack to plug things into. You've got headphone jack, you've got the whole nine yards here, and a front-facing camera, and microphones, I think. Mm, yes, microphones, microphone. Anyway, all kinds of good stuff. And it's still cheaper by a third. Dude. Anyway. So, next item here, will Microsoft destroy Android? Whoa. I'm sure they'd like to. This is from the Redmond Report. Now, the Redmond Report chronicles the <clears throat> Microsoft's attempt to take over the world. Actually, that's my spin on it. That's actually not what they would say. <laughs> Just saying. Anyway, Microsoft makes no secret of the fact that it hates Android. It considers it an inferior OS for tablets and phones and is trying to build superior tablets and phones to prove it. Which, see, that's what they should do. Not try to destroy it like with some secret campaign and, you know, stuff. But just build better stuff. And then that would work. But, you know, so far they haven't done that. Just saying. That's not Redmond's only approach, however. Microsoft also has patents that it claims Android violates and is trying to get Android device makers such as Barnes & Noble to pony up. In other words, if they can make it more expensive, people won't buy it like the other commercial pointed out. So, see, I don't like that. That's not fair. So, fully on you, Microsoft. <laughs> I'm, sure they, I'm sure they're really upset that I am not for them. <laughs> Little old me. Anyway, uh, is the new iPad an iPad 3? Is it an iPad HD? No. It's just the iPad. It's just a plain old iPad. They've gone retro. They're just calling it iPad. So anyway, this article from TechCrunch said, Wondering what to call the newly announced iPad hardware? Demonstrating at this, uh, demonstrated at this morning's Apple event in San Francisco. This was, you know, of course, posted on uh, hmm, March the 8th, 7th or 8th, whenever it was announced. So from earlier this week. No, the new iPad will be just, just called iPad. <laughs> 
To make matters worse, it seems that Apple will continue to sell the older model iPad, the iPad 2, except now the iPad 2 will have a $100 price drop. Well, dude, I'm for that. You know, it's still not, still not enough for me to get it, but hey, it brings it down to $399. $399. I paid $230 for this. Guys, get a clue. Anyway, uh, it will be the 16 gig Wi-Fi only model. The 3G version will still be, or will be, $529. Meanwhile, the new iPad will start at $499 for the 16 gig Wi-Fi model and $629 for the 3G version. 3G? It's not even 4G? Dude! Anyway, but he goes on to say, the name, but the name changed. Seriously? That means we'll now be referring to the two currently available devices, the iPad 2 and just the iPad, and yet the just the iPad will be newer than the iPad 2. Confusion reigns! <laughs> anyway, I'm just saying. So there you go. That's the news from the handheld hack this week. We'll get into more stuff as time goes by. But I'm telling you, and actually I still plan to have a show where we're going to actually show you how to hack the ViewSonic. <laughs> Hopefully, you know what I may do? I may wait until the next version of the uh, Vegan Tab uh, software comes out and just show you then how to do the upgrade to the new version of Vegan Tab. Cool. It's an idea. Anyway, the point is to remember until next time that you're only as good as your last hack. <laughs>